Okay, well, listen, we're going to chat about possibly changing the football championship, and the column and Kevin both have strong views about it. So we're posing a question where you can get involved and give us your view. And the question is this, given the one-sided nature of some games, is there a case for a tiered football championship? Tier 1, 2 or 3, you can reply on Twitter and Facebook. On Twitter, the address is at RTEGA, or Facebook, it's the Sunday game, facebook.com forward slash the Sunday game. So get involved, and the result should be interesting. Column, explain what you mean. These one-sided games you think are, are not good. No, well, he, D Dublin and Leinster and Kildare and Leinster are a good bit ahead of everybody else, and I suppose there are two or three teams in every province which is basically the same. And I've always made the point that if you had 32 teams in a county where you had clubs, you wouldn't put them all into the one championship and say, that's it, you have a senior championship. They're all graded according to their strength and everybody then moves up and moves down depending on who wins and loses every year. And I know most people would say, well, we have a league that does that. Yeah. But I think that uh, the provincial championship actually stifles a lot of teams and uh, I think it's, it's time to change to something else. And I would hope that the football committee that Eugene McGee is chairing, will not just look at the rules of the game, but will look at the overall structure, because I think a Champions League type system would be better. Kevin? Yeah, totally agree, but of course the, the one thing we are also agreed on, Colm, is that you're now saying no to the provincial championships, and that's probably the fence that is going to be so hard to get yeah. over before the debate can, can start. But uh, I was saying to you earlier, Des, when I started looking at some of the teams, that just, and, and I hate starting with Tipperary, because last time I mentioned Tipperary, I nearly got shot in this programme, <laughs> but they haven't got out of Munster in their first game for eight years. London, who we, we'll yeah. see later on, haven't won a game since the late 70s. Uh, you look at Louth today, you know, the C Carlo are m most likely going to be in the same boat. Waterford are al already there. I see nothing wrong with two 16s with four groups of four in each. Uh, have, the, have the senior final, the, 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 the second tier final and the minor final on the one day in, in Crow Park in September have two up and two down out of the championships overall. And that way you can build momentum and enter the premiership, if that's what you want right. to call it, in good health yourself, rather than this hit and miss approach. But, but some, some reaction coming in now on Twitter here. Someone saying, Loud beat Kildare in the first round two years ago. You'd take that element of surprise out of it, that Roscommon have won a provincial championship. But you'll have surprises West in Meath. the groups of four, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Uh, you know, in, in, the, in the four groups of four. There will be surprises within that. This, yes, but if you have a system, they all can move up or move down. You know, you can only be in the weaker division for a year if you're yeah. strong enough for it. But one of the, the, the greatest exponents in some cases of the provincial system are the weakest counties and those who have never won. For example, Fermanagh and Ulster, a lot of people there would say they would not like to do away with the Ulster Championship until they won at least yeah. one championship. Yeah, but remember when they got into the qualifiers column a few years ago, when they got, they got out of the, Ireland, the, yeah. the bind mm. of Ulster, they got to an All-Ireland semi-final, had, uh, the, they had Mayo on the... Uh, on the ropes yeah. uh, with seconds left in it. Last question here. Someone's asking, what tier would you put Mayo and me then? <laughs> well, I, I, again, I would say They'd come up with first. some metric over five years, whether yeah. it's league and a, a combination, and where, let, the, let, let the cards lie where they fall. Yeah, it doesn't really yeah. matter, because if you're good yeah. enough, you, you'll, you'll get out of your yeah. group yeah. in yeah. one yeah. year. Correct. So it, right. it, I would prefer, say, 311s, I think, that with London or New York involved, if that's, and whether Kilkenny want to be involved. But I think in, if you had a county structure with 32 or 33 clubs, you'd probably have three. And I think it would be better for games promotion if a county could right. be guaranteed maybe five home games over the summer months. All right, then we'll bring your reaction to that later on. Do join in An that update poll. on our Twitter poll. Should the football championship be tiered? It couldn't be closer. 49% say yes and 51% say no. That could not be tighter. 49 against 51. That's the, that's the Cork people now beginning to vote. <laughs>